Hello, hello, hello. Let's not let's just go fast. Go fast. Whatever. We don't need no intros. We gotta play the game. Let's go. So I grinded a lot. I was definitely right to end that last stream an hour early. It was more so like 15 minutes early, but oh, I was definitely right. If you all remember the last episode I ended, Lloyd is at level 4. Now he's at level 15. The guy said, you know, go to like 8 or 9 if you want to be fast, but really, like, a, you know, low teens would be the, definitely the safest. I decided to one up and go to 15 just because I'm getting the grinding out of the way now. It's done now. If I wanted to be even more safe, I would have gone. And I would have, uh. What was I gonna do? I would have gotten the H2O amulets from Magican, because apparently that's gonna have fire damage, and I know this next area loves its fire damage. Let's see that. But, uh, yeah. Another thing to note uh, at the end of the last episode, I said, hey, I'm gonna stock up on these bottle rockets. So apparently the bottle rocket does a fair chunk of change to everybody kind of damage. But I'm such a high level, it's just not even relevant anymore unless there's like a noticeable amount of people. I only have one of them left, so I just didn't get any more. It's not worth it to use them anymore. They hit for like 20, maybe like mid-20s, maybe low 30s, but that's even that's like, you know kind of a bit much. Ooh. And that's knocked that off, hmm? But yeah, Lloyd's hitting for like 40s, so yeah, it's just not happening. So this is the way we're supposed to go. As you can see, there's like a big old rock right here, but you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna take a brief detour, because if you... You probably don't. But if you do remember, they said following the train tracks is very dangerous, because the people... Because the route to the south is currently blocked off because the train can't get by so they're saying hey don't like walk down there because you could like this is the way to the north that's the way we're supposed to go but if you go the south way which isn't blocked off i mean the train's up north which is why you can't come down south i guess that's the whole shtick but uh of course i walked all this way i just want to show the thing off man i only thought about it now that i got here i'm sorry i'm wasting time my apologies. I didn't mean to inconvenience you, Mr. Game and Mr. Audience and Mr. Me. Oh. I do not appreciate this truck. It's the only enemy I can't just insta-murder. Anything that can give Nintendo an asthma attack is a really big deal. Because it effectively makes Nintendo worthless in combat for a while. A thing to note, yeah, uh, Nintendo's just not quite as good as Nintendo. I mean, that's kind of obvious that was gonna happen, but man, it's still impressive how much worse it is. For now, if you use Jeff properly in Earthbound, he becomes like your best party member. If you use Lloyd properly in this game, he might become your best party member, I don't know. Oh, I didn't even think about it, but I also got, because I was leveling up, I got life, or healing beta, healing R, I still don't know what R means. I got offense up, and I think that's it. Yeah, I got two more healings and an offense up. That's about it. Oh, I was gonna heal Lloyd. That's right. It's, you know, that's probably pretty important, you know. He only has like 70 HP to Nintendo's like 150, so you know. Maybe work on them numbers a little bit. They're amateur numbers. Ah, manually having to target who I want to kill. Don't you love old RPGs? Yeah. <clears throat> Just be glad I did grind off screen, because I actually was grinding for more than an hour. I mean, I probably would have only had to grind it for an hour to get Lloyd properly caught up, like, properly going, but then it took me a bit extra time to get him to, uh, this level of prepared. But part of the reason I did that is I did want to show this off, because head down south the train tracks. Now, this is a bad idea. I'm going to die. This is a guaranteed fact, because this is much later in the game. 
Maybe not crazy later, but it's definitely later. So, I noticed I got bopped super hard by the rope in the last fight, in the last video. I still don't really know what's up with that. I think he has the gimmick of, like, if he encroaches upon you, then he starts hitting for, like, 40 and 50, like, ridiculous numbers. But if, if he doesn't encroach, he hits for baby damage. Yeah. Loy just has Nintendo's equipment. I didn't buy anything at the, uh, next... Actually, I don't think there was armor in the, uh... Marysville department store, so... They were in the magic can armor. Except, uh, Loy doesn't have any of the amulets that resist a certain element. Nintendo has the one that reduces ice damage, so... I thought that one would block fire, because it's called a fire amulet. Oh yeah, here we are. Welcome to a bad idea. Can we get to the end? Let's find out. Hi, Rattlesnake. Can we kill the Rattlesnake? Let's find out. It's faster than me. Oh. That's just a snake enemy, and it just hit me for 30. Enemies have to encroach to- He just took a Ninten overleveled smash to the face. See, this is what I'm talking about when- Last blow? What? What? I, I mean, I can't. I can act shocked all I want. Just totally exhausted. Okay, can I get to where I wanted to show off? Please, just get there, Lloyd. We can make it. I did, in fact, make it. I can't use intense telepathy because he's dead. That's what I wanted to show up was that guy. He was going to say, man, you should probably turn back or else you're going to end up like me. And when you come back here through the train, he's not there anymore. I just wanted to show it off, but no. Snake's last attack, insta-frag, Ninten. I took the hit, just for this. And this is the bank payoff I get? Okay. Oh, I'll remember this, game. Oh, I'll remember this, as I have to like, go heal now. I also just lost some cash, because I had some on me, not expecting to have done that. To be fair, I probably shouldn't have done that. I just want to show things, man. I want to make my commentary, like, a little bit more interesting. Not commentary, content. There we go. Okay, commentary more interesting. Hearing people, hearing me flip out, hearing people flip out, hearing me flip out is probably a bit more interesting than more benign nonsense, innocuous rambling. Come on. Jeez, that's expensive. Do you think you're a little bit exorbitant on this amount? Come on now, I feel like I'm being extorted right about now. Out of the way. I need more cash. There we go. I'll see ya. I don't even have that much money compared to uh, last time because I spent another $3,000 getting Lloyd decked out in armor because he had 12 defense. So he was dying to pretty much everything you can imagine. Ain't that fun? Well, here we are, ten minutes later. Nine minutes. Well, okay. Well, sorry. Didn't mean to. Didn't mean to be wrong on that one. But here we are, nine minutes and twenty-seven seconds later. So it says my OBS recordy thingy. But uh, we've done nothing is what I'm trying to say here. Don't you dodge, rope? Who do you think you are, huh? Yeah, no, I mean, rope these things, huh? Did I make... I think I made that same exact joke about rope last episode. Talk about rope these days. So insensitive. No respect for their elders. I'm a ten-year-old kid in game. That's real silly, that's for sure. Void attacks! Yeah. Standard stuff. I started grinding on these dudes when I got to, like, the 
low teens for Lloyd. That's the uh, threshold they say you really want to be at. The, the walkthrough is definitely a bit more a cautionary thing, where it says if to be safe, it like tries to overlevel you a bit. And so I won up even that. They said you can do it at like six or seven, or not six, uh, seven or eight for Lloyd. But they said maybe get to the low teens if you want to be safe. And then I won up the low teens just because I just. Grinding is not going to be as much fun as you think. I just want to get it done off screen so we can have some kind of a consistent progression. It's not like I obscenely over leveled. I'm not like level 25 with Lloyd. That would be ridiculous. Even more levels, even getting to 16, 17, would start being a little bit ridiculous. 15 took a while to get through, so. And this just almost like the mad truck. I'm still. A maniac truck, I mean, not the mad truck, he's a mad truck, he's not too bad. But, it's not the worst thing in the world, but it can still go badly. But I just smash everything, so none of it even has a chance. Oh, that, that, that weird things to my shirt, oh no. So, I got my, some like red fuzz on me, that's not right. Get that red fuzz out of here. I don't have a red shirt on I have a green shirt. It almost looks like a gray shirt in this lighting. It's supposed to be like a mustardy green. It used to be a stronger green, but this is a real old shirt. Ooh! Ninten found a pass that someone had left behind. Ninten picked up the pass. Okay. What is this? Pass. Sprint is on it. Duncan Factory Employee. <laughs> Oh, ain't that convenient that we just picked that up on our way, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. Maybe they're just gonna hand it out. I mean, why haven't they even have, like, a puzzle? Or any of this nonsense. Easy. Now I don't even have to worry about getting inside anymore. <laughs> but, but, like, can I have fine wherever? Is it this? Oh, yeah, here it is. This factory is Mr. Duncan's private property. Why are you a dog? Let's see your pass. Oh. There you go. Now this pass is expired. You must have stolen it, suspicious creature. Look me in the eye. Uh. Okay. Eh. Alright, bye. By Stray Dog, same enemy we fought at level one. Welcome to Duncan's Factory. This is a stupidly massive dungeon. In fact, some people are like, hey, I looked up a map for this thing. Oh, I'll have fireballs, see where you need like fire resistance already. But people are saying, hey, maybe you want to use the whole unique mechanic for the bread item to, uh, have like a trail that you can like follow back to the entrance or whatever. You see, like the, the uh, H2O charm would have fire damage, so that alone would have hit like five and ten. So pretty good, but I don't have either. So none of them's got that going. On. They said this is a really fun area. So I have seen the map, and there is a simple solution to this place. But to get everything, which is kind of what we want. We not only do we need to get stronger, but we need the loot in this place, which is why I'm going the wrong way first. This place is ridiculously huge. Like, massive. Of course, I, I'm just going from memory on this, but the route through, if you know it's very simple, but to get the one item you also really, really want, you have to go out of your way. There's three items you distinctly want here. Three rooms of items, I should say. We're going to room number one right now. And Lloyd Lump, hey, ain't that pretty? There's a lot of innocuous stuff, like empty rooms, magic herbs, antidotes, yada yada yada. But, you know. Here's route number... No, oh, no, there we go. You go down the first ladder to the left, and then you go right. Dr. Distorto, and another Scrapper. Right. I believe Nintendo one hit the Scrapper, but I'm not sure. Did he? Never mind, I guess I don't know, get to know yet. Yeah, that's... 
You're gonna need to work on that damage. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't do that to Lloyd. Thanks. Alright, now I gotta just gotta fix that right now. This is just all wrong. There we go. Yeah, Lloyd's just gonna be low on HP pretty much every single encounter. Nintendo's a bit too small right about now. See, they're just... They're trying to pop Lloyd in the best of them. Yeah, Dr. Distorto's baby enemy, so... We can... Don't have to concern ourselves with no doctor, but the scrapper's gotta go this time. So it wasn't a one-hit. Okay. Can you stop only hitting Lloyd, Mr. Scrap? Oh, no, okay. I think Lloyd has uh, said my point better than I could have said. Actions speak louder than words, and his action was definitely smashing. There we go. Let's just let's just heal him up. Just get him all the way full health. What's your full HP? I don't actually know. Let's find out. It's 74 out of the 146 that uh. It's actually, if Nintendo had two more max HP, he'd have double Lloyd's HP. He has four levels higher, but I don't think you're going to be gaining, uh, 70, 74 HP in four levels. Don't think it's happening. Maybe. But I doubt it. I just, I just don't see it happening, you know? Scrapper is ready for an attack. Please actually hit him. Thank you. That's all I ask for. Okay. Come in here. What's in here? One of these is the right one. Uh, there's a life up. Okay, that's pretty good. That's not what I came here for, but life up creams are good. What's in here? Got a, a quick capsule. All right, that's pretty good. Speed is just permanently increased by four. Is there any more? Yep. That's exactly, this is the room I was looking for. Open the present. There's a physical capsule. This is the capsule room. There's a bunch of this good old nonsense. Intend to drink the physical capsule. His strength is increased by three. And there's a wisdom capsule. Give that also to Nintendo. Wisdom is increased by six. And then I don't... The map didn't say anything about this bottom right room, so I don't know what this is going to give me, so... An old robot? It looks newer than the scrapper. What do you do, Mr. Man? Oh, hello, Mr. Dr. Distorto. You want to actually be relevant to this fight, or are you just going to keep, uh... being a big old creeper over there, huh? I guess it is an old... I guess you can call that a scrapper now. Maybe that's how it works. Maybe they're all old robots, but scrapper's just an older robot. That us, it's all it's like big old gold plating nonsense just chipped right off. Is there any, even anything in here? No, that's why it's not on the map. Ex ecstatic. Me. Ecstatic. That's how I feel about that room. Put that right on my face. My facial expression. I, if only there's some way for me to imply that I'm feeling dissatisfaction to something through facial me means only. But unfortunately, I have to push a thumbs down to my face. When will modern technology catch up? There's another fireball. Honestly, kind of the most obnoxious enemy we've seen so far, just because he hits both. And he does okay damage to Lloyd. Yeah. He gave fires kind of obnoxious. This is normally a really hard area, because Lloyd being a hot piece of garbage. But I, I got Lloyd caught up fully, so... This norm, this area is... It's also the fact this place is absolutely massive. Like, this whole time we've been here, we've gone through one area. We've gone down one ladder and to the right. We've gone nowhere, effectively. Heal him up again. 
On this ladder. Don't keep going up. No, 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 no. You gotta heal him on the ladder. Can we, can we keep going? Now we gotta go back to the right towards the entrance. Level of... Yeah, there's the entrance right there. And we just get to walk for a while. We need to find the furthest right ladder. Which one is it? I have no idea. I only know, like, the general idea of find the furthest right ladder and go up. And just keep going up every single furthest right ladder you can find. Explore rooms along the way. I mean, once we... Because this is going to take us to the end of the dungeon. But then we need to find the thing we actually came here for. You know? Like, there's more things in here that we need than the thing just to progress the story. We're not just gonna instantly finish. Oh, no, no. Okay, that's that's too far. We've uh, gone too far this time. Yeah, the Scrapper. Dr. Distorto is a baby enemy, so we don't have to worry about him too much. Nintan, you are the biggest man in town. How are you missing against some dinged up, dusty old robot? You both disappoint me so much. I mean, Floyd I can understand. He's a bit of a sissy. He's a silly boy. He's useless. But... Nintendo, you're better than this. We've been through so much together. How could you have failed me so gravely? And Nintendo can attack Distorto. Okay. See, this is what I'm talking about, Lloyd. You're just not at Nintendo levels of confidence. Your crits should be one-hitting people. I just don't see it happening. In fact, I see you struggling to kill even a scrapper. There we go. Okay, well, let's just heal right back up. Yeah, Life of Alpha is starting to struggle a little bit. Sooner or later, I'm going to have to start saving PP. And once we get to that point, I'm going to start having to use items, and that's where the big bag comes in handy. For if I got to get get them past that last little hump of HP, you know? Like, just... just oh, he's at full HP. It's Lloyd. Who doesn't need HP? It's Nintendo does. Also, I haven't, I haven't said it yet, but I like the name Lloyd. Not relevant, I just like the name Lloyd. It's cool. Okay, at least, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, at least, yeah, yeah, at least, yeah. At least we can take out the fireballs in one hit. Now, what's in here? There is a bomb. That is an upgrade to the bottle rocket. I believe anyone can use the bomb, but uh, it's still just a better bottle rocket. Oh, never mind. Only Lloyd can use it, but it's a better bottle rocket, so it's pretty good that we're getting that, because that's just good. It's also gonna be good to give the, uh... Actually, just the big bag to Lloyd, because Lloyd has no way of healing. I'm gonna probably take that off him in a bit, to give it to someone else. But he's carrying man for now. And we just need to keep heading right. Keep going right and up ladders. And if there's no ladder to the right, then we walk left. We just need to keep going up the furthest right ladders, wherever they may be. If I didn't do this, this whole dungeon would take the entirety of this episode. That's how long this, this would take, otherwise. Maybe not really, but we are 25 minutes in, so it's... It, it would definitely take some effort. Well, that's a hallway and a half. There was a super spray! This was one of the more optional items, but it is one of the items we should have come in here for. The Super Spray. Industrial Strength Insecticide. That's one of the three items we came in for right along the way. That is the same as the Insecticide Spray, which we never grabbed before. It instantly kills insect-based enemies. But the gimmick with it is it has infinite uses. So you give it to Lloyd, and he's already the item user, so hey, you know. Works for me. Yeah, that was one of the three things we came in here for. We came in here for the capsule room, we came in here for the super spray, and now, here we are, you know?
The last one's the really important one. Like, those two are, like, optional, technically, but they're really, like, what you're in here for. Like, they're the big end goal level loot, but... There's one thing we gotta go get, but it is definitely uh, out of the way. Considering I don't remember exactly where it is. Then we're gonna need to search for that bad boy, that's for sure. There we go. Dr. Distorto's attack. Please do not instantly kill Lloyd, you son of a gun. Let me leave. Okay. Now, does any of these healings... Does, would this work? No. Would this revive? No. I think, uh... Yeah. It consumed the life of Cream, okay. Uh, we're just gonna try to finish this area first. Because really, Lloyd's just dead. Like, he just got super murdered. Like, they crit him in the face and then attacked him again. They dumped all their damage on him on one turn. Which he just can't sustain. There's just nothing he can do to live that. Like, what are you gonna do, you know? He got him with a crit laser beam and then slapped him again. Like, what are you gonna do? We need Lloyd alive to finish this dungeon. That's right. Let's head back to town. Would it be... I'm thinking, would it be faster to go to Magic Camp first? Yes. It's a fast travel, effectively. Because... Well, there's a couple reasons that this is faster. One... Uh, there's free healing. Really, that's one of the main reasons I wanted to do this, too. I'd have to backtrack through the whole dungeon, go through the whole path down there, then go to the hospital. The only thing... I think this is technically a longer route, but it's the safer route, because now I don't have to uh, give Nintendo even more XP. There we go. Now we just have to leave Magic Hand. Wait, can I leave the... Okay, there's, here's something to check. Wait. I want to check something. We're going to take a slight, uh, an even more slight detour. We're going to come back down here to the middle. Can I leave town through this place? Because if we can leave town this way, then we're golden. No problem. Who are you talking to? Mm -hmm. Okay, now you cannot leave through there. Once you're here, you can't leave that way. Okay. Alright, so we do have to leave through the Dragon's Cave. Crystal Cavern. Right. Well, I mean... See, I'll just fight him. It's not like his XP matters. We're not here for the XP, and we just want to get it over with. The seek gives, like, 3 XP, though. Yeah, he gives 3 XP, in fact, if you don't kill him. He gives, like, 70 if you don't- if you let him do the hello thing. See, once you know your way through this place, it's really not a long trek. This would be definitely be a very bad idea if this is the Japanese ver I'll just do the thing. Uh, this would be a very bad idea if this is the Japanese version, because this uh, Crystal Cavern is actually like a proper dungeon. But Good, he gave all the XP to N uh, Lloyd, and that was actually like just 70 XP. So he gives 70 if you do that. There's that dragon, can't mess with him still. Uh, that's gonna be much later in the game. That is one of the final things that we're doing, is this stupid dragon. Don't expect to be messing with no dragon for a while. So. Hey, bro. You wanna not? It is also completely random who he gives the XP to, so he could just level up Nintendo. That was the problem I was having. I kept running into this dude, and he just gave all his XP to Nintendo. It's like... I'm trying to level up Lloyd here, bro. At least now he's giving it to Lloyd. I actually started grinding in the outside world because Groucho stopped being worth it. 
This is an amazing place to grind, though, for all future grinding needs. <clears throat> We're gonna get another party member who's level 1. And yes, I'm gonna have to come back and grind them up because they said 8 is the bare minimum. Do not even try to do anything if they're not level 8. But 14 to 16 is the recommended level of the next party member before you move on. It said if you have the patience. Oh, yeah. Also, I didn't even pay attention again. I should have just... Yeah. It's times like this I really wish I had teleport. That's not gonna happen for a while. Spoilers, yeah, you get teleport like you do in Earthbound. But... No, I think you can also fight Farbots in Factory. I'm not certain on that, but it would make sense. So... Where are you, Mr. Barbot? Why are you this cra crazy rare commodity, huh? See, this is the part that I was like, this is gonna take longer. This section alone, like, just getting... going north to town is gonna take a little bit longer than going from the Duncan factory back to town. But overall, I feel it was faster. More efficient, I should say. We saved our cash. And really, that's the important bit. Because it was hundreds of dollars to keep maintaining our team. It was like a, a $300 just to revive Lloyd and 160 to stay at the inn. That's like $500. I have 4,000 in the bank. That's how like crazy expensive this is. And I've been grinding for a while, so... If only I could just warp back to, uh... Mother's house. Means I'm leveled up. Good. We definitely we need more of this, obviously. I grinded so much, and the fact that Lloyd still died is astounding to me. And it wasn't even to a fire attack that they warned about. It was just It was just a beam. PK beam. A PK beam is the thing the Franklin badge is supposed to be reflecting, by the way. It only, uh, reflects PK Beam R, but, because that PK Beam move has the chance to instant kill, so, eh, it's good to have, you know? I mean, making you immune to an attack is making you immune to attack. I'll take up an inventory space to be immune to an attack. It's the Franklin badge, bro, why would I take this thing off? You know it's gonna be important later in some regard. If not for story, then some boss is gonna really take advantage of you not having that Franklin badge. I also got a hamburger. I took one step. Ah, jeez. I may actually start using the bomb on the fight with the Dr. Distorto robot fights, because clearly those stupid robots have a really high evasion, because I keep missing them. But, ugh. I'm running into a problem right now. My desk is more situated more to the left. So to reach my cup, I have to reach over like this, because my left hand is how I'm using all of the combat magoos, MacGuffins. If I put it on the right side of my desk, it blocks my monitor. It's just like, I'm using my right monitor, man. Why you gotta be like this? Who situated my desk like this? Who said this was okay, huh? Aye. Sorry if I don't have the most exciting commentary right about now, but unfortunately, we're doing uh, backtracking because I died. Lloyd is the important one for this. You cannot finish the dungeon and do the final thing you need to do if Lloyd is dead at the time. That looked like a fire cat. I guess that's just a cougar. Okay. But also, apparently sucks. <laughs> Oh, that was like a fur. Oh. 
I vomit in the back of my throat. Uh, that's nasty. It tasted nasty. It just tasted like bile. Eagles. Happy 6th of July. We're two days late, Eagles. Get out of here. Yeah, who am I kidding? Every day is Freedom Day. You can be around as much as you like. We have, uh, rounded 400 days of freedom a year. Using the magically advanced concept known as rounding. Screw specific numbers, it's America. Yeah! America! Come on, Barbot. You can do it. Come on, Barbot. I believe in you. It's okay, Barbot. You can do it next time. Hope you guys are excited for the magical track to the Dunkin' Factory again. Also, Eagles. Featuring Eagles. Eagle content confirmed. jeez. Uh, I keep dropping this stupid lid. Man, I don't want it on the floor. I want it in my hand so I could fiddle with the thing. You know, snap it. May not have even heard that. Here, let me... Let me stim stimulate your eardrums a bit. There you go. I have truly reached desperate times for commentary. There's no one in chat, so I don't have that av that avenue of interaction. Uh, the gameplay is officially run dry, considering the fact that I'm doing the same thing again. I died. And, uh, I'm talking about a little purple, uh, bottle cap that I can snap. That's about it. I'm fiddling it with my other hand, because right now, my left hand's just holding down the turbo button, my right hand's kind of not doing anything, so it's not taking a drink, it's fiddling with a bottle cap. Lots of snappy goodness. Part of the problem is the fact that there are so many fights, I just want to get to the stupid factory man. Maybe I do need that for hell. So many fights. Is this not what you asked for? Says earlier me. Uh, I was talking about why I'm not running away from fights. Because it's free XP. It's also free. I just want it done with. It becomes a touch more infuriating when you're backtracking. Just get me to the factory, please. Thank you. Okay. Heal up, boy. Don't let him die, ever. If he is not at full HP, we're doing something wrong, because he can apparently go from 100 to 0 in an instant. He is a squishy, squishy man and needs protection. Off we go. At least it's only one. At least it's only one. I rem- this is, uh, I always am talking about stuff that I remember from back when I was a kid. I remember the Duncan Factory being one of the really bad places. The, I mean, there's the definitive worst location in the game, which is, like, the hardest. We're not at that yet. That's, like, right at the end of the game, but that's the one that everyone seems to know about, because it's, like, tr there's, like, trivia about that place, why it's so hard, but... I remember the Duncan Factory being, like, the baby version of the later area. Because this place is so big, there are so many enemies, and you can just get bodied so fast. Just completely out of control level of, like, murder. Someone please call the police. The small children need it. Have we gone too far? We did in fact go too far, so it is this one. Keep going up, keep going to the right. Is it this one? Yep, okay. 
You see, like, sometimes you get these very long stints of no encounters, and that is what makes this game bearable. If it was just a constant onslaught of enemies, it'd be ridiculous. Remember correctly, this game calculates the random encounter rate the moment the last battle finishes, where it'll calculate how many steps you've taken until the next battle, so sometimes it'll just set it to, like, a stupidly high number, and sometimes it'll just set it to one! Thanks, game! I really appreciate you. See here, I'll just use the bomb on this fight, just because... Whatever. Also, why is Lloyd not at full HP? I didn't think he got even got hit in that last fight. Go, bomb! Get this old robot out of here. Okay, just Dr. Distorto tried to run away. Wow, fantastic. Please don't instantly kill Lloyd. Thank you. Go get him, Bomb. 60 damage. Oh yeah, one hit him. Bombs. Let's go. The Doctor Distorto is such a baby man enemy, it's totally fine. Dude's like a complete sissy. And then it was, again, one more step. Every time. Not every game can be a chrono trigger or whatever, having enemies seamlessly flowing from the overworld into the battle. A lot of games say they want to do stuff like that, and it's only been in more recent times that it's been a lot more common of an occurrence for that to actually be happening in your video games. But that was a thing a lot of people tried to do back in the day, but it's really hard to do that. Props to, like, Chrono Trigger for doing that. Like, even its sequel, Chrono Cross, couldn't do that. So. I didn't even want that to be my initial point. My initial point is why can't I have, like, overworld enemies in general? Most games have them instead of random encounters. There is an argument to be made for random encounters. I believe the ones, like, there's pros and cons to it. The pros is it takes up a lot less effort than having to individually either program enemies in specific locations or to make a thing to generate enemies in legitimate locations randomly. That takes a lot more effort than just slapping down, like, a nebulous tile grid of enemies show up here and making an algorithm for when they show up. But at the same time, it also puts a lot more agency in the player's hands. So... It's like, if battling is not the main focus of your game, I can definitely see it something like that. And yeah, it, it also makes grinding a lot easier if you're doing it random encounters, because you don't have to, like, leave a whole section of a game just, or an area or whatever to make enemies respawn. That didn't happen. Lloyd is not at full HP. He's getting low again. I wasn't paying attention. Gotta be more careful with Lloyd. Fireball can't kill. Fireball's like baby enemies, so whatever to him. Uh, Lloyd is not at full HP, so something is wrong. Heal him up, please. There we go. Oh, yes. I think we're on the top floor. Oh, no, not yet. Oh, no, not yet still. Are we at the top floor now? No. I think we are now. You see how big this place is? I keep the... Oh! This dude is the scariest guy in the whole area. I may want to run from this fight if this goes badly. Because of one of- okay, never mind. Never mind. That dude is easily the scariest enemy in this whole dungeon, that you, the reason you want to keep Lloyd properly at max HP. There's nothing in that room. Ah, jeez. Oh, that could've gone better. Mr. Room not having garbage in him.
cup hitting table noises. Don't talk to him. I wanted to do this. There we go. <laughs> One step. Every time. It's a joke at this point, and I hate it. This joke's not funny, man. Can we not be doing this? I just I just want to get to the end. At least if we get to the end, because well, we're not done yet. We still gotta find the last thing we need. Because that's not it. You don't, like, what we're looking for isn't the end thing. It's... Oh my god, jeez, you know? How are you not dead? This guy already... How are you not dead? You've taken three hits! What's up with this scrapper? What is, is, does ready for an attack mean it's guarding or something? Because it's just taking blow after blow after blow. Just fall down already. You're a scrapper, not a tank. There we go. Okay, Dr. Distorto, please stop doing what you're doing. Oh, yeah. And then I still just pop him with a 71 swing. I think we're fine. Wow. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Oh, yeah. It's a good time. Right, go. One step again. I was actually trying to reopen the menu. I took one step, and another encounter occurs. <sighs> I want to heal Lloyd, not get into more fights. And all these dudes do is guard or kill Lloyd. They have two settings. I mean, guarding is at least fine. But... Ah, jeez. Hey. Oh, they can just drop those? Oh, I thought we had to wait to get this. The laser beam is Lloyd's effective next weapon. It's a usable item that does PK beam alpha. And it, you could just keep reusing the thing. Like, that's what it does. He now has PK beam alpha, and he can just use whenever. And it's it's not like, it doesn't cost PP, It's you can just keep doing it. I was not at the top, apparently. Please tell me I'm at the top now so I didn't mess up my uh, whole concept of what I'm trying to do. I think I'm fine. Because, yeah, I'm definitely fine. The fact that I'm running this far along, I'm definitely at the end. Oh, Mr. Fireball. Yeah, let's drop that uh, laser beam. You have to go into your goods and use the item. See here. In 10 hit 4, 58. It's dead, isn't it? Yup. Mm -hmm. Never mind. We'll try it out later. I think it's actually not quite as good as his basic attack right about now, but who knows. Get, get in there. I don't think, I don't know if I'm in the right area. It must be this then. It's like, I want to try out the laser beam so badly, but I can't leave these dudes alive. They're going to just PK Fire Alpha. So, whatever then. I'm surprised we've only run into one bomber. Those are the really scary guys. You didn't see them, but they can throw a bomb, and that'll do 60 damage to your whole team. Here we go. Finally, we're here. Aim on the rock. Okay. One, two, three. Wait, wouldn't it be three, two, one fire? Okay. Think we got it. That's the rock down at the train station down. Now we have one final thing to go and find, but... I have to search for it, you know? Dr. Distorto, and an old robot. Alright, fine, now we can use the laser beam. And then less than an intense smash is one hitting the thing. Just like, come on, Nintendo, I appreciate you pumping out numbers, but this is getting a little ridiculous. Use the laser beam. 32 damage. See, it's not crazy, so... It's not why I'm not the most excited about that, but you know, we get those things, those bad boys later. And of course, Nintendo's always gonna be doing more damage than Lloyd, but. Boy, what can you do, you know? See, 
It's like the fact we have to walk all the way back out is the thing that makes this, like, very egregious. <sighs> Used a bomb. Suffered 62. 72. Ow. That damage is cut in half if you have the H2O charm, which is why they're like, hey, the PK fire from the fireball, but most importantly, the bomb from the bomber does half damage. I'm again halfway tempted to go back to Magicant, but we have not found the thing we need. We need it. Like, then, like, it, like, that did 72 damage to Lloyd. This is why Lloyd needs to be at full HP. I'm pretty sure he would have died if he had gotten hit by that before he leveled up, increasing his max HP to 80. So, ah, oh, jeez, you know? There we go, Fireball. The moment I find this thing, I am just gonna go back to Magic Hand. We're just going all the way back around. At least I know the way out of Magic Hand. It doesn't take that long, comparatively. At least we know there's forward progression. But in this place, it's... There's a bunch of hallways that I have no idea where I'm going. And I knew my way straight to the end. This place is massive and a maze. This place could take hours to get through. We're 51 minutes in and we're still in the same dungeon how big this place is. This place is crazy. Stop using PK Fire Alpha. How did you even live anything? You never live. What's going on here? Stop that. Don't miss this time. Thank you. I gotta heal up Floyd again. Fantastic. There we go. Alrighty then. So now we need to explore to the left some more. I know that, but it's like a ways down. Is the thing. It's somewhere to the left. That's all I know. It's like you gotta go. You gotta like loop around somewhere. Like it's down left and then back up. It's, I guess in, for the webcam, it's down left and then back up. So. It'll take some doing. That's for sure. How much is Lloyd's basic attack? Yeah, the laser beam does about the same damage as his basic attack, so... What can you do? And again, I do have him with a pretty expensive weapon, the boomerang, which is 1,100 cash. You may not be always having that. Then again, you wouldn't always have a laser beam, because it's just a random drop from these guys. What can you do? Uh, old robot's ready for an attack. Wow. Maybe I'll do this so their stupid guarding nonsense won't work on him anymore. Or Nintendo could kill him. That's always a fact, too. You always have to consider that fact. There, come down here. So we go left now. Be careful. Be careful. Because if I die before I... I die, both of them, I mean. Lloyd can die, really. He's done his need. You, like, you need Lloyd for that, uh, rocket event, but... It's just an item in a chest that I need, so... And I don't want to say what it is, because there's a surprise factor to it for people who don't know this game, which a lot of people pretty much don't, because Earthbound and Mother 3 are popular, but not so much Mother 1. Or Earthbound 0. Man, America had to translate things weird. It's Mother One, man. Another bomber? <sighs> okay, good. Thank you. I was gonna say, I don't actually didn't notice Lloyd wasn't a full HP. I, would, I was assuming on that one, so. Oh, yeah. Don't telepathy. Is that waste PP? Let's find out. Yes, it actually uses one PP to use telepathy. Okay. I mean, it makes sense, but... Gotta be careful, then. Don't want to misclick on that front. 
I think it's over here then. Is this it? Should be in the door. Another Franklin badge. Yep. Before Earth found and Mother 3 made it a staple to have that be like a key item that you just have on you. Nope. They're actual items that you can in theory miss, because I didn't even need to get the first one. They are optional. And more importantly, there's multiple. Take me out, please. Going through Magicant is faster. It gives me some variety, also, in like vision. Because normally, it, it, it's like a sense of, oh man, I gotta go through Magicant again? But now it's like, oh, finally. Now I can get through Magicant. I know Magic. Magicant's easy. It's gonna be a breeze! Don't worry about it. It's fine. We all know magic. And yeah, this is definitely a different kind of magic ant than the one in Earthbound, where the magic ant is like the second to last dungeon in the game in Earthbound. In this place, it's like your hub, almost. Now, I know these dudes are like crazy physical defense, so wouldn't the laser beam work really, really effectively on these guys? This is a good test, otherwise I'd run like run from this fight or something. Laser beam. See, Loy or Nintendo just has a stupid amount of physical Yes, okay, that's in fact exactly how that works, alright. Like Nintendo has a stupid amount of physical attack, that's why they can get through the snail nonsense, so. But there you go. Intense attack. There we go. I mean, it's not like it matters the most, but you know. This fight's kind of tedious, so I, I would run from this in the future, but I just wanted to test out the uh, laser beam fun times. So there we go. We finally opened up the train route to uh, Reindeer. There's actually three ta three places we can go. We can go to Snowland or uh, Snowman, I believe it's called. A snowman, reindeer, and spookane. But we're going to reindeer first, and then snowman. Spookane's the final area you go to. You know, I've also was complaining about how long that dungeon took, but at the same time, I'm glad because I know what's coming up, and it's gonna make you all see. Well, we'll see. Another level up. Mm. Yeah, I have no idea what level you're allowed to get both the, uh... Ooh. Both the guitarist's melody piece, because that's obviously what he's going to give you, and, uh, the dragon's nonsense. Uh, why did I check that again? I'm a dink. So, healing... Healing Gamma. Is that, that, yeah, that's the Gamma symbol, because it's, like, the Pi symbol. I think that's Gamma. It's not Omega. There's no way that's Omega. I think that's Gamma. Was Gamma like a G? I know like the sideways E is Epsilon. Or is that just, just healing Pi? I, I, that's the Pi symbol, so I have no idea. No, I think Gamma is just a G. I have no idea. Healing Pi. I think Healing Pi, because you don't have a... You don't have a description for these moves. I think that's finally the one that'll let me resurrect people. Yes! Lloyd XP! Hype! Oh yeah, baby. That's what we're talking about. You know I've run out of commentary when I just start just doing along the music, snapping along. I mean, I'm having a fun time with it, so... No, that's not right. That's a hole in the ground. That got me the onyx hook, and that was technically completely optional. And as you can see, I'm already really using the onyx hook, so I'm very, very glad I got it. Because if you didn't actually get the 
uh, Onyx Hook, you'd have to walk all the way around or whatever, because you obviously can't get back into Magic Camp through that stupid rock. This one doesn't take you back. You gotta go back to the one north of po or Podunk. Just getting Lloyd and then getting back up there to grind him up, ah, jeez, that'd be like a nightmare. Alright. We only have a little bit more to do, and then we're, like, officially train station ready, so, oh yeah. Oh yeah, that area that, uh, we went down that had, like, the desert, like, it was a rattlesnake, that was it. Desert. It, yeah, okay, rattlesnakes are in deserts, I see how I made that mistake. I think that's Spookane. That's what that whole area is. And that's why we don't want to go there right now. That's a scary, scary place. You could go there, and you can get some crazy good stuff if you can handle down there. But I do want to go to Reindeer first. I am going to play this in some kind of the intended order. I went just there to show it off. Not to not to go crazy work. No. You know? Alright. Slap them around. There we go. So you know this is an old RPG where the moment Lloyd uh, joins your party, he officially stops having, like, a character until, like, cutscenes, in which case he's relevant. Like, this is just a kid who said, hey, you want to be friends? Okay, hey, you want to go see some bottle rockets down at the factory? And now he's officially just joined me on my adventure, too. Yep, the melodies. What are we doing? What is our objective? It's to save the world, obviously. But it's like we woke up one day, and they're like, hey... Did you know that, um, lamps are attacking people? That was it. I was just, like, that, uh, I had to take a pause there because I forgot what was attacking people. It's lamps. But, hey, did you forget that, you know, lamps are attacking people? And then, immediately after that, we in interacted with the doll, and it was like, hey, there's a melody piece in there. And then we just, we just left. We just left home. We just started going. I mean, once we got to Magic Camp, we got our main objective, which is to get the eight melodies. That's our mission statement, but why, you know? Alright. <laughs> I am stupid. I'm having fun with it, though. Why we gotta complain, huh? Alright, no more rock. I can't be mad. It's an eagle. I'll always be accepting of my patron saint bird. I think that's right. There's that rocket. No problem. Okay. If you say so. Follow the trade tracks. Hey, here we go. Hi. I heard on the radio that there's a, it's a mess everywhere. It all costs. It all costs. I will protect this elephant. Okay. I'll protect this station. Hi. Well, I don't know how far the train goes through, but you need a ticket to ride. Get to buy one. I uh, go to reindeer. And it's $32, because there's two of us. Hey, hey, actually being intelligent about these things. Maybe, oh, it's going taking me down, so I'm guessing... I guess this does, I don't actually know where it is. You'll notice, yeah, the uh, skeleton man's not going to be there. Or maybe he is, who knows. Yeah. Yeah, he's uh, definitely not there. You can see how long this tunnel is, too. You'd pretty much never make it through here. This place is crazy long. It's carving through like a whole mountain, so maybe it makes sense. But Take me to reindeer. And now there's like one reason we're going to reindeer first. Are you going to snow, man? Yeah. I found this hat. 
I believe it's the property of a girl who lives there. Please, take it to her. And now we can officially leave Sereindeer. Right, I hope you enjoyed our visit. Oh, there's also Union, which is the station we came from. That's the Union station. To Snowman! Forty dollars! Woo! We keep going! Sorry about the... Any wind that had to appear in my mic for like a half a second. Did not mean to have like a guest star... Guest appearance from wind. But I had to adjust myself. I believe that was Spookane. Or maybe that was Reindeer. I don't know what it Yeah, there we go. Welcome to Winter Wonderland. And yep, the Winter's theme from uh, Earthbound is a remix of Snowman. It's, this is one of my favorite Earthbound songs. I love it. It's so good. I was on my way to Youngtown to look for my wife, but without the train running, how can I get there? Youngtown. Mom left for Youngtown. We haven't heard from her for days now. Dad and I are going there to look for her. Okay, so there's people going missing at Youngtown. Where's Youngtown? Okay, wow, that is really far away. That is all the way... You can also see on the map, the dotted sections of the train track are where it goes through a tunnel. The Marysville to Reindeer is a ridiculously long one. And yeah, it was Spookane that was in between Reindeer and Snowman. But if we go all the way back up to Union Station and go to the... I guess it's that way, based on what my, uh, webcam is saying. Right! We can get to Youngtown, so we have some kind of an objective at Youngtown. Find out why people are missing, so we may, uh, go travel there eventually. I have no idea. I'm a clairvoyant, still in training. However, this much I can see. You shall return again to Union Station. Oh, I'm not completely sure. I mean, you're, like, it's the most optimal thing to do at some point, but yeah. You know? Once... Did we just hear a boop? Do I have a window open here that's booping? Yes, I have a window over here that's booping. Sorry for the audio quality, because I have to tab out for a second. It goes, it starts churning a bit. I believe it said don't talk to the people in blue, because they have colds and they'll make you sick. <laughs> so, okay. But yeah, th that's actually something I've been narrowly avoiding. It first started in Lloyd's Town, but there's a flu going around. And the only way to cure it is to go to a hospital, and I have to pay money for that garbage. I don't want none of that. Life is a game, but sometimes you have to rest. Do I want to risk it? No, oh, hey, Jack. Okay, I'd like to talk to- Why did you lady you are spazzing out? My grandfather lives in Yucca Desert. If you see him, please say hello for me. Uh, lady, please, you are so spazzy. Uh... One thing that's note, I believe Jack is supposed to be, uh... It's like, I think it was a translation error or something, maybe something like that, they couldn't fit it. That's supposed to be the name of your fourth party member. Jack. But his name is Teddy, it's, it's weird. But, welcome! Oh, that's, that's the inn. I do not have that kind of cash. What do we hear? Welcome! What can I sell you? Mouthwash, mouthwash cures colds. That's the thing. But, as you can see, mouthwash is crazy expensive. A hundred and something cashola for that nonsense. Oh, my, your nose is running. Oh, because it's, it's cold. Wow. Funny. Oh, this is a blue-haired healer? That he is. I am a healer. Okay. What do you want? You want? Okay. Oh. I, actually, this is a free phone. Why am I not using this? Can I can I actually talk to the phone? Thank you. This is your dad. Okay. Oh, need to talk to the person playing this game. Hello there. I appreciate your kindness to Nintendo. I am the boy's dad. Can you please let me know your name? Thank you for your cooperation. Uh, my real name. Is... No, don't worry. About it. It's Jason. But I can't not do caps. I'll do Jason. Uh, it's a set. It's my name. I can also put bio, but that's that's silly. Are you sure that it is spelled correctly? Yes. Thank you for spending your time with me. I too have urgent things to do, so I'd better go now. Slam. Later. 
Please, say hello to the camel's bones in Yuka Desert. I knew that camel once upon a time. Okay. Well, I mean, it's already been shown you can use telepathy on bones. Okay, I showed that, but... Yeah, if you find a pile of bones, you can telepathy it up. Where on earth am I going? I was just informed to be here. Maybe it's down south. There are enemies here. Oh, no. Oh, no. There's a lot of these. I was told the bombs from, uh... The factory are good here, but I don't know if you noticed, but I don't have any more bombs. Uh, bottle rocket. It's at least a start. Slap him. It's not lethal? Okay. Let's see if a bottle rocket plus a Ninten slap is lethal. And they do okay damage, so I gotta be careful. We gonna, if this does work, I'll fight him, but if the bottle rocket doesn't, I may run. Not certain on that, though. No, I should be fine. There's just a lot of them. Okay, yeah, it didn't kill, but... This should be fine. Here. Fight that one, you fight that one. There we go. Kind of banking on Nintendo occasionally critting. But Nintendo does a lot more damage than Lloyd, which is why I don't want to have Nintendo attack the same wolf. Because it's gonna kill, obviously. So I want Lloyd to hit the one that's already dinged up, and Ten can just weaken all of the others and hopefully pray for a crit. We need to get one of them down to make these turns go a bit faster, though. Yeah, you see, there it goes. A smash attack will just wipe him off the map, though. And then attack, no crit. Uh, what can you do? I'm not s Then again, I can also say smashing someone with a boomerang probably hard. I haven't done it personally, and I don't know anyone who's an expert with a boomerang, but due to my time on Earth and the knowledge that I have accrued across my magical expanse across the internet, I can pretty safely assume it's not exactly an easy thing to accomplish. Again, I'm not like I'm not an expert in boomerangs. I myself am not a boomerang, so do take that with a grain of salt. Right now, we're just trying to murder some wolves because Nintendo just never crits, he never smashes. He didn't score. How much XP am I gonna get from this? Though? There are four dudes. This give me a heap ton, shouldn't it? Probably more than a hundred. I think it gave me 42, so yeah, 84 XP actually. Which is weird to think that the stupid big widows from Magic Ain't give 100 XP and the uh, Grouchos give 70 to one guy. So, you can see Magic Ain't's still a really good place to grind for the fact the enemies are that weak. The rest of them aren't really as worth it on that front, but there's uh, an argument you don't use telepathy on the air. There's an argument to be made for every case. I hope you enjoy the dullest tones of the Snowman song, because it's really good, as I just try to heal Lloyd up from the brink of death. I mean, now is the time that Nintendo's stupid fire charm is useful, having the damn of ice attacks. Having the damn, having the damage of ice attacks. Oh, there's so many wolves! At least it's not three, at least it's not three. I wish I had a bomb right about now, that's for sure. I am, in fact, still banking on crits. <sighs> Holy tax. Okay, oh, there you go. There's that crit I wanted. Didn't kill, but there's that crit I wanted. I also wanted an intent crit, and then he crits when I don't want it to, because it would have died to a basic attack anyway. Ah, uh, every time. I feel like I'm being... I feel like I'm the joke here. Who's the funny man? Is it me? I don't know, man. 
feel like I'm more the topic rather than the man actually making people laugh. At this point, oh uh, jeez. Feeling so attacked right now, huh? Get these wolves out of here. Can you also stop super murdering Lloyd, please? Thank you. That would be very much appreciated. I feel like they're out for blood. You know, maybe they're wolves. I can see that. But. Heal up again! Ha ha! You thought we were done? Fool, we're never done! I, mean, I haven't even said this, but I absolutely adore Lloyd right now. If for no other reason than he gives me more inventory slots, yes! Yes! Do you know how often I'm not running into inventory problems now? All the time. That's where I came from. At least it's a lone wolf. It's a lone wolf! <laughs> hey, that's pretty cool, actually. It's a lone wolf. Name. It actually hits harder, too. That is cool. I like that. It looks like it's, it's still a silver wolf, but it's a lone wolf. There's only one of them, but it hits harder. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's what we like to see. That's cool. It's also really tanky. Like, wow, okay, this dude's a bit more threatening than I thought he was. He's gotten three attacks off. And I know Nintendo and Lloyd can pump out numbers, so... Respect, I suppose. Alright. Heal up Lloyd again. It's to just kind of get used to this. It's probably going to keep happening until I get a better life up skill. I'm still using Alpha. I have not... I've learned a healing all the way up to Pi, but I have not learned anything past Alpha. Okay, no. Bad wolves. I am done with you now. I'm going back to town. No more wolves. No more wolves. Please, let me leave. Does, does Lloyd get a chance to run? Is that how this works? I don't know. Spin the thingy on my finger. Come on, just run away. That's all I ask. Come on. Come on, Lloyd. Why do you suck? Why do both of you suck? Just run away from- It's not like they're fast or anything. They're just wolves. Nintendo's faster. Can we please get away? That's not something I can stop. I'm gonna be yawning all the time. Welcome. I don't have money, lady. Where's your department store? So this one? Yeah, 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 it's this one. Okay. At the very least, at least it exists. I have a hat. Wait, what? Hat. Pretty hat. Boy with the name Anna. Oh, that's right. I spelled Anna's name wrong. I just realized. It's not A-N-N-A, -N -N -A, it's actually A-N-A. -N -A. It's weird that I spelling it the typically right way is actually the wrong method of spelling. It's Anna. It's Anna, I guess you pronounce that, but it's not Anna. Sorry. Is there anything in there? Are there any people in here? Please heal me, I need I have lots of problems. Thank you. We're having lots of issues right about now. We just got mauled by a big old pack of wolves, plus a random lone wolf, who I suppose would just be considered part of the pack. It was over here this whole time. 
Oh, jeez. Don't talk to the sign. Look at the sign. Show me chateau straight ahead. Hello, lady. What are you... No, no, no. Thank you. And his house is a chateau, not a mansion. But I'll bet you already knew that. Okay, I only knew that because of the sign. Don't, don't think you know me, lady. Don't assume anything about me. You don't know my life story. Why are there wolves along the route to the chateau? And the fact that I got her name wrong is a little bit upsetting. There's different translations for these guys' names, so... It depends what you play or where you got the translation from. Is it the official one? Is it the ancient? Is it the, like, old fan translation? Their names are Lloyd, Anna, and Teddy. But how you spell them is weird. I think Teddy's nickname might be Jack. I'm not sure. But Jack is the weird thing about it. Like, you never meet anyone named Jack. Okay. My daughter Anna has never been a brave girl, but she is kind of heart and has a secret strength. You have appeared just like in my dream. The boy in the dream looked just like you. There you go, here's your stupid hat. Are you Nintendo? Yep. I must go on a trip to find my mom, and I needed your help. So I've been waiting for you, Nintendo. So unlike Paula, this chick's been waiting. Paula sent out her psychic wave nonsense to come get our attention. Come call us. Now, this chick's been waiting. First, let's go see what happened in Youngtown. It actually is our first quest to go to Youngtown. I was already gonna go there. I was pretty curious. Oh, that's a dad? That's our chick. Next time, mommy will come back with me. Here's our third party member. Anna. There's her hat. But, she's level one! So I need to grind again! why I was happy that the dungeon took forever. Because the walkthrough says, hey, level 8 is a bare minimum, don't even think about moving on. But get her up to 14 or 16 if you want to be certain. It said if you have the time or the patience. She's another PSI user. She can use telepathy and life up beta. Yeah, offense, one, defense, it's just a whole lot of nothing. So, instead of doing that, because I'd like to pad out this runtime a little bit more, we're just gonna roll with her for a little while. Hi, Polar Bear. Let's hope they just don't attack her for now. You know? She's gonna learn to be a more offensive PSI, where Nintendo's gonna learn the more, uh... Stat, like, supported e stat up kind of PSI. And there goes Anna. Rip. That's what you get, lady. Why are you living out in the boonies? Okay, uh, snow boonies. If you can't fight off a polar bear with your bare hands. I just, I just don't know what's wrong with this generation. I could fight off a bear with my bare hands at their age. Come on now, I didn't even live in the wilderness, and I expect better from these people. Starting level one, come on. But yeah, we're just gonna not grind up Anna for right now, because I'd like to actually finish the stream and not have to do another half one, considering I'm gonna have to grind for two hours off screen. That's not fun. No one wants that. Welcome back to Magic Can, everybody. Here's two episodes of me getting Anna caught up. She gets to deal with it for now. I'm thinking I may actually want to go back to, uh, Magic Can't just real fast. Just so I can, uh, revive her, actually. Yeah, let's go do that. It's the... <laughs> but, but at the same time, there's actually no, like, restoration area next to any of the, um... Stations. Yeah, there's none in there. So there's, like, no hospital here. So, yeah. Alright, well, back to Magic Game we go anyway. Because there's one other thing we can get. After I, you know, make Anna not super dead right now. Hello, Anna. Welcome to the party. Hope you stop asking questions. Don't worry about where we are right now. Same with Lloyd. 
Lloyd doesn't get asked questions. No one knows what this place is. Nintendo explains nothing. Hi guys, welcome to the party. We're gonna immediately warp away from your home and into the weird dream dimension. Please don't have any questions, because I will not be answering them, figuring them, figure them out on your own. I'm honestly just bringing this point up because of how absurdly confusing this must be from their perspective. Where are we? Who is this kid I just joined? And yeah, Groucho gave Anna the proper experience, so that's pretty good. I still have two, uh, flying men left. I was actually gonna go grab them to help grind, uh, Anna up. But I'm gonna do that off-screen. Just to, to have someone to take hits, because they generally attack the flying men before your newest party member. Which is why they give you five of them, you know? And yeah, 72 x 78 XP is quite a lot, so... She just jumps straight up to level three. My nose will not stop itching! Oh, fantastic, I know. Oh, wow, she just jumped straight up to four. Groucho's, everybody. It starts taking more than, like, 78 to get to level four, it's gonna take more than a thousand to get to, like, level ten. The XP scaling in this game is ridiculous. The first couple levels are absolutely baby mode, though. Uh, who would have guessed? She's learning everything all at once. You see why we're not doing this on screen? Oh, that's not right. She now knows Brain Shock and PK Freeze. I don't even know what Brain Shock does. But there's one thing I want to grab first. Watch her. Get out of here. So here, PSI. It's a status inflicting move, obviously, but you know what I mean. Yeah, we are actually- I was actually planning on going to Youngtown anyway, because <laughs> it's a very good reason we're going to Youngtown. The walkthrough doesn't tell you to go to Youngtown. The walkthrough tells you to go back to Reindeer once you level up Anna and then to Spookane. No, we're going to- you're going to Youngtown. What did you just learn this time, lady? That's PK Thunder, alright. Oh, hi, monkey. Of course, I am a non-sing. Normal monkeys don't sing. So, any questions? No, good. Wait, did you ask it? They look so much like Queen Mary. I wonder why. Is it you? Are you who we're looking for? You told me about a man that ever... No, okay. No, this is not what we're looking for. One we're actually looking for is you. I am the cat who swims on the ground. Guess what is in my hand? Please don't be like this. Here, you know what? She's gonna do it. You know what I have in my hand? That is right. A ribbon. This is magic ribbon will give strength. Magic ribbons are only for girls. Anna tied the ribbon into her hair. Anna's force is increased by five, which in fact that, that makes her magic better. That's wait, did, will you give me the song yet? I feel like I'm stronger. Hello, I didn't hear you come in. Your guitar playing is so loud, I can't even think. What? I was playing the guitar. You've already had this altercation, you should have known. The story I tell you now is a real secret. When you become really strong, come see me. You'd better write this down. Okay, I'm not strong enough. I need to become really strong. I'm probably gonna interact with him at the same time I interact with the dragon, and the dragon's not happening for a while. So. Bye bye, Rabiudet. Yeah, this is gonna take a little bit of running around time because we're just doing the option. <laughs> Obvious stuff. Just to, just to get her at least initially situated before we go explore. That's the wrong way. Just to get her initially situated. Like, I'm gonna grind her up to like 16 off camera because that's. Honestly, I just. That's totally like overkill, I feel, but I want it done. Because again, it totally makes it so I don't have to grind later. So it, it gets it out of the way now, you know? Yes, give me $3,500. 
snare. And yep, Onyx took right back to town. And now we're gonna equip Anna with this hot garbage. There we go. I just wanted to deck her out with the equipment and give her the stupid ribbon. And now we can go on. Plus, it's also enemies I can just instantly bop, so she just forcibly gained four levels. I only need these two, because the third one's like an elemental resistance thing, so I'm just not gonna worry about it too much. We'll deal with that later. No, do not get the magic herb. No, oh, come on, man! Ah, jeez. There, gold ring. Okay, magic coin and the gold ring. It's always so expensive, the thing. Oh boy. Also, I did thought about it. I wanted to give the big bag to Anna, because it's more convenient that way. Also, Franklin badge to Anna, because Lloyd needs as much inventory space as he can afford, is the reason why I'm giving them to her. Hey, your gold ring, give that to- that's already hold being held by Lloyd. That's not right. Come on now, Lloyd, you silly willy. Why you gotta be like that? Give that to Anna. There we go. Match coin. This gives like 40 plus defense total. It's ridiculous. Like, they start off in the single digits for defense. Now Anna has 55. So yeah, that was actually more like 45 to 50 defense. It's ridiculous. Spiking up someone's defense that high. Please give your XP to Anna! Okay, that's an attack, so that's not quite right. Hey. Yeah, once we're done in Youngtown, we're probably gonna sweep through Reindeer, Snowman, Spokane, all that good stuff. Bye! Yes! Anna's XP has increased! Also, fighting the Big Widows is quite a bit less worth it now, because it's a 100 XP split amongst three people. It's not like in 10, getting 100, and Lloyd getting 50 when they, they were in the party. And it would gain, like, 34. Not quite as worth, so... Eh. But at the very least, she's now level 5, so she's instantly already, like, at least some state of confidence. She just learned PSI Shield Alpha. Cool. Just getting out of magic and back to town is going to make her baseline confident, so I can at least explore. Just because I got 27 minutes left, I promise it's going to take a while with how often we're not only getting into fights, but the fact that she's going to be leveling up so often or being dead so often. So. It's, we've slowed the game, the, the pace of the game down to a crawl again. Get start just flying through this place once you get it going. Hi, four eyes. You know, it's always a very it's always very strange in RPGs where someone just joins the party at a higher level than you or whatever. But I can see why they do it in a game like this. This makes sense. This makes so much sense for someone to start at level one. They are garbage. But man, is it tedious. Oh, is it tedious. I'm reminded of the, uh, like, uh, like Donald from Fire Emblem Awakening. That kind of character. The one who starts out hot garbage compared to all your other characters who join at least somewhat competent. But they have, when you get them caught up, they're great, kind of thing. Like, that that's fine, but then you rev run the risk of, actually, if you can use the party member smartly, then they're good. But if you can't use them and you try to uh, grind them up too much, you're just going to run your team further into the ground. So, I like the concept. There's a lot of risk or reward, and it, it attests how good you are as an actual player. It's a pretty good time. Alright, yeah, she did learn more PSI skills, so she learned a uh, Beam Alpha, 
I think that's it, actually. Yeah, she just learned Beam Alpha. Oh, and Healing Alpha. She did not have Healing Alpha before. Hi, Groucho. Groucho's a cool guy. He's my favorite. Yes! I'm just getting really lucky. It is a 1 in 3 chance. Maybe he just gives it to the one who's the closest to the next level. I have no idea. No idea how he determines his uh, XP output, but it works for me. Keep giving him to Anna. She really needs it. Hello! Bye-bye. Okay, it's genuinely random, because Lloyd got that one that time. So, alright, whatever. Dude, the encounter rate this time is ridiculous. It's, I mean, I love Groucho. He's great. He's the best for XP, but he just makes this uh, everything just slow to a crawl. Because you have to guard. You can't just slap him down. Because if I killed him, he'd give everyone one XP. Like, that's... And then he gave it to Lloyd again. Lloyd doesn't need it, man. I do remember... Aye. Aye. I don't think Anna even has a weapon, either. She equips frying pans like Paula. There we go. You gotta take out the mom's eyes first, because not only do they hit the hardiest, but the hardest, but they have a continuous attack. Well, Anna's already, like, getting bodied. She's been in one proper, actual, genuine fight she can handle. And she almost dies. Thanks, Anna. You better watch out. Because it's just gonna get harder, lady. It's just gonna get worse for yourself. There we go. And now Anna's level 7. Yeah, this has been- this has taken like 10 minutes, just getting out of magic camp. Because we had to get the ribbon, we had to get her geared up, but it's- every fight is so long because of this lady. Also, the encounter rate is ridiculous right now. Why in magic camp, man? It's going nuts. Proper nuts, though. Learn a new PSI power. I also have to check that, too. That's just gonna make everything take a little bit longer, too. Now she knows. PK Freeze Beta. Fantastic. Man, I, I really... I'm not the kind of person who personally dislikes grinding in video games. I honestly find it incredibly easy, because I've always been the kind of dude who will turn on something else on the side and can just grind my days away on the left, on the other monitor. So, that's never been my downside. I don't mind grinding at all in video games. No problem with it. Unless the gameplay is absolutely horrendous to grind, which some games do have that problem. This game's really easy. You can just hold down the turbo button for attack. It's cake. But, it's not exactly solid content if you're streaming. So that's why I really do want to just hurry these up. I can handle it. I, however, know that most people don't like watching it. It gets kind of old sometimes, so... Hmm, you know? It could definitely be better, I feel. But alright. Alright. Or it can, yeah, the encounter rate is just so high right now. If I was actually grinding, which wouldn't be too bad, but... Jeez, the encounter rate. Oh, boy. I thought I was going to be able to at least make it to Youngtown by the end of this video, but... I don't even know about that at this rate. Oh, boy. I say as I proceed to just swoosh right on into town. But... I can still... This is... This is definitely a bit more of a slog than it had any right to be. We're going back up to the train station. Anna's all prepped now. She's gotten her ribbon. She's gotten her levels. 
Have fun, Anna. Welcome to actual fights. As it begins now, Anna. Have fun. Oh, please don't. I think this hits everyone. Yeah, uh, Anna's dead. Yeah, this force also hits everyone. And only Ninten has asthma, but he's also your best party member by far, so... Anna was hurt and beaten. That's not too bad. It'll at least make this go faster, you know? Like I said, I'm gonna grind off screen. It's not like any of this matters. I just wanted to get Anna caught up. Because I felt the route from Magic Camp was a lot less tedious. And at least gave her a fighting chance. As you can see, that fighting chance was very quickly squandered. But it's not my fault she's bad. But she'll be like level 15, 16, hopefully, by the start of the next episode. We still got 19 minutes, don't worry about it. We got time, son. We got like, we got lots of time. Actually, we don't need to come in here because as the map says, uh, Union Station goes straight right to uh, Youngtown. So let's get to walking. Oh, that's why, okay. I guess we can walk around. Uh, no, we actually can't walk that way. Huh. Then. Luckily, it doesn't even matter how far off the beaten path I walk. I can end the episode on the spot and just onyx hook my way back to town. Magic hand. But I do want to make it to Youngtown, preferably before this video ends. But at this rate, I have no idea if that's going to happen because I don't really know what's going on right now. Can I just get around this stupid bridge? We're only really fighting like bar bots, so nothing too like crazy, you know? Yeah, you're definitely supposed to explore uh, Reindeer, Snowman, and Spookane right about now. So, this is supposed to be after those areas, so we, either we're going to get something really good in uh, Youngtown, or Youngtown's going to be... Okay, let me actually finish the first point, because I cut myself off. Either we're going to get something really good in Youngtown, so that when we go back to those other areas, they're going to be quite less worth it at all, or it's going to be so difficult getting there that we're just not even going to stand a chance and just get slapped right out of the way. But, eh, what can you do? At this rate, based on, well, these random encounters, but the encounter rate, I don't think we're getting anywhere at any reasonable time. Fainted. Yeah, this is the kind of experience Anna could really be using, but... Wait! Okay, this is actually a good chance to check, now that I think about it. We have excess PP. Can Ninten use PSI... No, you can't even use it in the field. I was gonna say, is uh, healing Pi a resurrection skill? But I have no... We can actually check at battle, but I mean... The Omega Saucer. Maybe not. We need to fight these guys. This is a new enemy. Alright, PK Beam Alpha. Okay, it's not too bad. Yeah. The PK Beams do, like, a set general amount of damage. Like, PK Beam Alpha does around 30 damage. PK Beam Beta would do around 60 damage, etc, etc. Wow, that shield actually did matter a lot. Wow. Uh, but here, now we can try healing Pi on Anna, just to see if it works, you know? <clears throat> nope, does not matter. It might be a life up thing in that case. Maybe life up Omega or something could resurrect someone, because it's life up. And if they're dead, life up, you know? Do you see where I'm coming from on this? I understand it's a little bit complicated, but I feel like if you apply yourself to your studies, you can definitely figure that one out. This is a stupid joke. Ah, Lloyd, become more competent. 
You're finally catching up to your big brother. You can see just how much XP, like, the, the ramping is ridiculous. It takes 4,000 XP to get from 20 to 22, and Floyd has 6,000 XP. Ridiculous. So much XP. Like, how far are we going? Oh, yeah, we're gonna... It's gonna take a little bit for us to get to Young Town. The Ultra Barbot, okay. How badly can we gun you down? Jeez. Drop the stupid, like, bottle cap thing again. Doing a real good job. Smash. There we go. Oh, we're in Yucca Desert. Oh, uh, hi. Nancy! An energy robot! Why are there robots in the desert? Kill the energy robot, I guess. That sounds more threatening than Nancy. Oh, Nancy's swinging at 24. I have no idea if this is the correct play. Never mind, I'm thinking that's the correct play based on how fast I murdered that man. Oh! You're one of the... Never mind. I think we're gonna call it here. I don't think we're making it to Youngtown. Welcome to the Yucca Desert. No. Bye bye. I love the Onyx hook so much. I love the concept of such an item. You don't have a teleport skill, but you can warp back to a town. That's not like a complete get out of jail free card, but it's definitely a nice alternative. Because I'm always going to opt into it personally, but that's just me. Not here. Let's go heal everyone up. And I guess it'll be this 13 minute shorter episode. Or something, however many long, maybe like 10 minutes shorter. Who knows? I'm about to end it, so. Anyway. We're just gonna save, and I'm gonna get to grinding. And Mysterious Mimicker. 1,739 cash into your nonsense. Alright, there we go. There's 192 for Nintendo, 841 for Lloyd, and 776 reverse that for Anna. Yeah! Please don't push yourself too hard. Anyway... There we are. I hope you enjoyed this, despite the fact that this one was a bit slower of an episode, but uh, whatever. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you have a good rest of your day, and peace.